What's good, YouTube, man? It's your boy Proud, and today I'm back with a brand new video, man. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing why college coaches love multi sport athletes. Now, once again, if you didn't know, college coaches love multi sport athletes. If you are a multi sport athlete, you're already ahead of the curve and it heightens your chances to get recruited. If you didn't know, now you know. I'm about to explain why. I used to get the pick when I was young. Me too. Yeah. Now I do it for my son. Everybody be having me like I'm the one. You will, nigga. No strap, gon' get it done. Yeah. Double back, but bring a ton. Catch him lacking, we gon' punish him. Sold him one, but yeah, I front it too. Now, me personally, when I was in high school, unfortunately, I didn't get to play as many sports as I wanted to. The only other sport that I did play on the team was wrestling. Now, for those of you that don't know, in my opinion, wrestling is probably the best sport in the world. Y'all know how much I like basketball. Y'all know I'm a former D1 football player, but wrestling really might be the best sport. If you want to hear some wrestling stories, you know, wrestling tips, that type of thing, even though I was only able to wrestle one year, let me know, because I can talk about that all day. Just a simple fact that it's one-on-one, -on -one, mano we mano You know, you can only count on yourself. You can only blame yourself. That's so much I love about wrestling. But that's another story for a different day. So just keep that in mind. I was a multi-sport athlete. Just keep that in mind. The number one reason that multi-sport athletes are loved more by college coaches is because they get injured less. Now, I know what you may be thinking. Bro, if I'm out playing basketball every day and my main sport is football, the chances of me getting hurt are higher because I have a better chance of running into somebody tearing my ACL. No. Listen, when you're more active, when you're a multi-sport athlete, you're keeping your body in shape. When your body's in shape, it's a lot harder for you to get injured if you didn't know. Such as things like hamstrings, you know, muscle tears, sprains, that type of thing. Imagine you go play football, right? You play your football season, you work out casually during, you know, the winter, you just sit on the couch. And you just do all that until the next football season. Instead of somebody that went, they played football. In the springtime, they ran track. Or, you know, they played basketball. They're less likely to get injured because their body's been in shape, been moving, been active consistently that whole year. You get what I'm saying? That's why college coaches love multi-sport athletes. If you're constantly active, it's less likely for you to be injured. The second reason college coaches love multi-sport athletes is because you are more coachable. It's, it's hard for someone to be coachable when they're only hearing one voice in their head all the time. If you're a multi-sport athlete, you're being coached by multiple coaches, multiple staffs, and multiple avenues. You know, you're hearing different voices, different perspectives. It broadens your horizon. You know what I mean? And that's some people, everybody has that one person on their team. He's gonna pop in your head right now. He gets yelled at by the coach. He's talking crazy. He wants to fight. He's causing a scene. If he was playing multiple sports, now everybody has a you know a temper. You know some people are just hot heads, but when you're hearing the same thing from different voices or it's a different way, people are trying to teach you something. It opens you up. It makes you more coachable by default. You know what I mean? Like for instance, there's some teachers. You know most of you guys are in high school. Maybe your math teacher you can't relate to him. You don't really listen to him. But then you're in your science class and that's your guy. You know that teacher right there. That's your dude. Y'all cool. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be dapping each other up every day. You can listen to him. You get what I'm saying? It's the same thing if you have multiple coaches. You're more coachable. It's easier to get to you. It's easier to teach you to make you better. Reason number three is because you're always competing. Obviously, college coaches love athletes who compete. The whole point of sports is competition to compete. If you're playing multiple sports, you're always competing. You know what I mean? If you're in the off season, you're not really competing. You know what I'm saying? You're just going to class, you're lifting, but when you're playing basketball, you're in another sport, you're always competing to be the best, you know, competing for a championship. That that fire that's lit inside you about competition never goes away. You're always competing, and obviously, they want athletes who love to compete. The next reason is, if you play multiple sports, you tend to be able to be moved into different positions no matter what sport you want to play, if that makes sense. So let's say you know, you play football, you're a wide receiver, then you play basketball in the off season, you can be a point guard, a shooting guard, or then you want to go play baseball, you can be an outfielder, you can be a pitcher, or you run track, you know what I'm saying? That's, you can be triple jump, long jump, anchor in the relay. There's multiple positions that you can play, which makes you better overall, if that makes sense, you know what I'm saying? But if you play football, right, you just play wide out, 
and then you're in the off season, you don't really do too much, you're not working, you're not in another sport, you're not competing, that type of thing. It'll make you worse, if that makes sense. I know that may sound crazy, but if you're not playing another sport, it'll make you it'll make you worse. For example, when I played football, I was a lineman, okay? Then I went and I wrestled, right? Wrestling made me better as a lineman. It helped me get lower, it helped my leverage, helped my form. Little things like that that you don't think of, it transitioned better, made me a better football player. You get what I'm saying? The final reason I have for you today as to why college coaches love multi-sport athletes is because it gives you more potential. It gives you a higher ceiling. Here's what I mean. Let's say you're a basketball player. When you train for basketball, you train the same muscles, the same movements, the same mechanics. So you become stationary or you plateau in a certain avenue, right? Let's say then all of a sudden you go and you run track. All of a sudden you're working out different parts of your body to do a different movement to strengthen you in other areas and you can transition that to basketball. Let's say if you play football, when you're a football player, you know when you guys condition, you know coaches say you're in football shape. If you're in football shape and they throw you in a, in a gym to do some CrossFit, you're going to die. Why? Because you're only trained for football. But if you go play a different sport, compete in a different area, it's only going to make you better, which you can transition that to the football field because your potential is going to be higher. You understand what I'm saying? If you train in one specific sport all your life, you can only function in that area. But if you go and dabble in something else, play something else, do something else, you're going to gain skills you didn't know you could gain. That brings your potential up. So when you go back to your regular sport, you're better. You understand what I'm saying? I hope y'all get what I'm saying. If y'all don't get what I'm saying, then why am I talking? <laughs> but lastly, man, just to close out this video, if you're contemplating playing another sport and you're in high school, go for it. Because one, it's really nothing but benefits. You know, you're going to find, you may find something else you love. You might make new friends, new acquaintances. It's only going to help you get recruited even more. You know, what do you think a college coach is going to like? You get out of football season, you play on Call of Duty every day, or you get out of football season, now you wrestling on the mat. Just think about it. It can only get you better. You know what I'm saying? It's always good to expand your horizons. Unfortunately, like I said, I was only able to wrestle one year, and it might be the most fun sport I've ever done, honestly. If you're on the fence about wrestling, you heard it from me, go do it. Trust me. Like, go do it. Don't just play one sport. The only reason I could only play one sport is because, you know, where I'm from, my high school, every sport you had to pay to play it. And my mom was like, dude, like, you're about to go to college for football. I'm not paying for you to do no other sports because it's not necessary. I can't argue with my mama, so that was my story. But we don't. We don't live in the same boat. Now, down below in this video, I want you guys to comment, if you play another sport, what is it? So comment your main sport and comment a secondary sport you play. If you play three sports, let me know. If you play four sports, let me know. I want to see how many of my subscribers are multi-sport athletes. But uh, let's go ahead and wrap up the video, man. It's your boy, IB. Make sure you like, share, subscribe if you're new. And I'm out. <laughs>